Hey curl friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to refresh your human hair knotless braids. If you've done this style, then you know, or if you're thinking about doing this style, just know that if you wear your hair in a ponytail a lot, the curls will fall flat, especially depending on the curls that you use. So in order to refresh them, what you're gonna need is some water, a leave-in conditioner, a mousse, a hair oil, and some edge control. Step one is to hydrate your hair. This is so important because this is what's actually gonna give your hair the moisture that it needs, and it's also gonna help distribute the product properly through your hair. The next step is we're gonna be going in with the leave-in conditioner. So I'm going in with my favorite leave-in of all time. It's the Des Hair Care Hydrant Restore Leave-In. It's a great leave-in packed with amazing natural ingredients, sea kelp, shea butter, jojoba oil, all the things that your curls need. When applying your leave-in, you wanna make sure that you get the human hair boho curls that you added in, but the point is also to moisturize your natural hair as well. So you really wanna make sure that you work it in all throughout your braids, ensuring that it gets to your natural hair. Step two is to apply your scalp oil. And here's a quick little tip for you guys. Always apply scalp oil after you hydrate your hair with water. Water is actually the vehicle that helps to allow the nutrients and all the good things that are in the oil to absorb into your scalp. Another tip that I recommend is not only do you apply your scalp oil, but you massage it in as well. This helps to disperse the oil throughout your whole scalp, but it also helps to manually stimulate blood flow to your scalp area to help with the absorption of the nutrients. It's a two for one. You feel good and it actually works. It's science, y'all. <laughs> Now that your scalp and hair are moisturized, we're gonna go in with the styling products. Step three is to apply your edge control. I'm going in with the Des Hair Care Extra Hold Edge Control and the edge brush. I start up by brushing my edges down a little bit before I add the product. I then go ahead, add some product, and then begin swooping it. As you can see, I'm holding the edge brush backwards and I'm swooping backwards. I find that for me, that really helps me to lay the edges properly without having to like twist my arm and twist my neck. It's just a really simple way for me to apply it. So again, if you guys want to see the full tutorial on how I slay my edges, click the link down below for the complete tutorial. If you guys find that your edge control is flaking, it's possible that you're doing one of two things. One, you're leaving the product open overnight for extended periods of time. This actually causes the product to dry up and will lead to flaking. Or you're simply applying too much product. If you apply the product and you aren't fully smoothing it down because you're applying too much, that will cause your edge control to flake. So if you're experiencing flaking, try those two things and see the difference with your edges. Step four is to go in with my curl defining mousse. This step is essential if you want beautiful, luscious, bouncy curls that last. The technique I use is a scrunching technique. So I take a bit of mousse, rub it into my hands, and then scrunch it into my curls. This is gonna help the curls define even more as well as give them a bouncier and juicier look. Mousse is great not only to define curls, but also to help with flyaways. So I apply it to my crown area to just give it a more sleek and neat look. This next step is optional, but I find it essential in my opinion because it helps the curls to last longer. But you're gonna go in with your blow dryer and a diffuser head. This will just make sure that your curls dry in the way that you want them to with the most definition possible. You can also air dry, but make sure that your curls dry and your scalp is dry because it's actually essential for a healthy scalp. Lastly, I'm going in with my moisture mist. This is just gonna seal everything in and give some nice shine. These are the end results guys. Not only is your natural hair nice and moisturized and your scalp well taken care of, you also have the beautiful boho look refreshed, looking shiny and brand new. If you guys like this video, make sure that you like and subscribe. Stay tuned for our weekly curly hair care videos where I will be showing you how to do DIY styles as well as taking you along the journey as I treat and service my clients. To purchase the products that I use in today's video, visit us on our website at www.deshaircare.com and follow us on Instagram. Bye y'all.